Hello friends, this video on simple equations part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So with this we solved a couple of equations and we get, got an idea about how do we actually solve equations. Now the question is, here till now we were given equations and we were finding its solutions. Now do you think that it is possible to do it the other way around? That means if I give you solution for an equation and I ask you to find that equation, will you be able to do that? Sounds crazy, right? But yes, you can do that. Let's say that you are given an equation 3x minus 2 is equal to 4. So and, and I ask you to find the solution for this equation. So by now you already know how to find solution. So very quickly you will be able to find the solution for this equation. So how do you find the solution for this equation? Let us look it in detail. So how do you find the solution? So 3x minus 2 is equal to 4. So first we will move 2 to right hand side. So this becomes 3x is equal to 4 plus 2. So you will say 3x is equal to 6. Therefore, you can say x is equal to 6 divided by 3, 3 to the 6. Therefore, x is equal to 2 is a solution for this equation. So, this is simple. Now, let us say that if instead of giving the equation, if I give you the solution. So, if I tell you that x is equal to 2 is a solution for an equation, find out that equation. So, do you think that you will be able to find out that equation? It sounds weird, but actually you can you actually can find out the equation for which x is equal to 2 is a solution so let us see how do we do that so let us assume that you are given a solution like this x is equal to 3 so this is a solution that is given to you and i ask you to make equations out of it now basically you look at any solution the solution itself is also an equation in a very simple form here also you have a left hand side you have a right hand side you have an equal sign it is just that you have performed all the operations therefore you do not see the plus minus multiply or divide otherwise a solution in itself is also a very simplified version of an equation now let us say if you multiply 2 on both sides of this equation. So what do you get? You multiply 2 on both sides. So left hand side becomes 2x. Right hand side becomes 6. So 2x is equal to 6. What is it? This is an equation. So we have arrived at an equation from a solution. Now let us say in we add 3 on both sides. So once you add 3 on both sides, what happens? Left hand side becomes 2x plus 3, right hand side becomes 9. What is this? This is again an equation. Right? So 2x plus 3 is equal to 9 is also an equation. Now let us say that we add something else. Let's say we add 10 on both sides. What do you get? It becomes 2x plus 3 plus 10, that is 13, is equal to 19. What is this? This is also an equation. Right? Now let's say that I multiply both sides by 3. So you multiply 3 on both sides. So what, what, what again do you get? It becomes 3 into 2x plus 13. And on the right hand side 3 into 19 is 57. And what is this? This is also nothing but an equation. You see all of these satisfy the definition of equation and that is why they are equations. Right? So what do we observe? We observe that if one solution is given, we can create multiple equations from that solution. Now not only these equations, let us say if we start from the beginning and if we now multiply both sides by 3. So what do we get? Instead of 2x equal to 6, we get 3x is equal to 9. Now let us say if you subtract 1 on both sides. So what do you get? You get 3x minus 1 is equal to 9 minus 1 that is 8. So for the same solution x is equal to 3, you also find an equation like this 2x plus 3 equals to 9 and you also find an equation like this that is 3x minus 1 is equal to 8. So basically the conclusion is that multiple equations can be created from one solution. So if you are given one equation, so if equation is given, you get only one solution for that equation. 
so basically the number of solutions for an equation is limited but when the solution is given how many equations can you make you can actually make multiple equations so for one equation you have a specific solution but for one solution you have multiple equations so that is one beautiful thing that we conclude from here and i hope you also got to understand that how exactly do we create solutions how do exactly do we create equations from solutions here also we basically follow the same tip that we perform our operations on both sides we multiply by the same number on both sides we add the same number on both sides we subtract the same number of both sides and that is how we obtain equations from solution so try this out construct three equations starting with x is equal to minus 2 so this is the solution which is given now let's say you multiply by 2 on both sides so when you multiply by 2 on both sides the LHS becomes 2x and the RHS becomes minus 4 so 2x is equal to minus 4 this is one equation now let us say that you add 3 on both sides so what happens left hand side becomes 2x plus 3 and right hand side becomes minus 4 plus 3 therefore this becomes 2x plus 3 is equal to minus 1 so this is also an equation so let's say this is the second equation that we created for x is equal to minus 2 now let's say that from this equation that is 2x minus 4 after this we subtract 1 on both sides so what do we get we get 2x minus 1 is equal to minus 4 minus 1 that is 2x minus 1 is equal to minus 5 so this is yet another equation now if you want to verify what you can do is you can try to find the solution for each of these three equations and in all the cases you will find that their solution is x is equal to minus 2 so this is how we create equations from solutions Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.